On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. Ugh, it's throbbing! But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. <coughs> one man. Fluffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cave. Aww. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by you. Right? <laughs> I was about to say that, too. Be careful, Velvet. All right. Give me keyboard instructions until I press a button. Interesting. Ooh, nice kitchen. Simple. Okay, let me get to know these buttons real quick. Okay, camera. Hunt. Oh, there's my hunt prickle boars in the tranquil woods. Ooh, a map. I'm guessing... Where am I? Am I the yellow? Oh, okay. Velvet's house. Yeah, I'm I'm Velvet. Okay. Uh, okay. What's in here? Can I snoop? Snoop. <gasps> Whoa! Look at those. What's this? Money! Many books line Arthur's bookshelves. Ooh, Celestial Chronicles. On reading historical impressionist scripts. Oh, it's up here. Garlic. <clears throat> Can I jump? Or no, climb across? It won't let me snoop! Woo! Jump. Jump. Mini map! <clears throat> Thank you. I know how to use a mini map. I figured that out, thank you. Thank you. If I'm on the hunt for prickle boars, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. I'm gonna mess it up. 
That's like a lot of pressure you're putting on me, girl. A leak. There's a leak in the grate. <laughs> I just got brought breakfast. Oh, breakfast. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a couple bites of my breakfast. Hold on. <gasps> Katie Black stole your office chair. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need breakfast. Dude, that breakfast sandwich you made, Ash, is killer. It's like a whole flat omelet egg folded up with, with turkey meat. Yum. Why are you eating in the living room? You could just come in here and eat. Okay, which way do I go? I need to go this way. I hope I'm not missing anything. I hope there's not like a weapon or anything I need. <gasps> People! Hmm. <coughs> Talking to himself, was he? Now that you mention it, Arthur used to have the same habit, didn't he? <gasps> Cat! Oh, it's completely true. When I was heading back from the shop, I saw Lafacet, Lafacet, talking to someone. Oh, you got surrounded by am animals. <laughs> Is there animals in here? Oh, there's Angel and Trinity in here. But he was all alone, isn't that right, Othello? Meow. Was Luffy talking to Cirrus? What was he doing at the store alone? Oh my gosh, our brother. The mystery of our brother talking to himself. You know, sometimes that's not good. Brr. It just isn't warming up, is it? The leaves change earlier every year. I wonder what could be causing it. Weather? I think it was the way I stand. Oh my gosh, girl. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Can I get up there? Excuse me, sir. I can't get up there. Whatever. Oh. <sighs> Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, 
Silica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Oh. I just been watching this guy dig through. No, I'm trying to figure it out. Is he trying to smooth the leaves or I don't know, smooth them out? Did he, did you lose a wedding ring, sir? Okay. Oh my god, he's doing it too. Hey, Velvet. Is Lapiset feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest. I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got Aww. it. Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Laffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. Aww. These people are so sweet. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, Battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first <laughs> strike. Oh, so the cat. Aww. My cat is taking up the other chair. The other gaming chair. Stock up at a few supplies, huh? Hey, Velvet. If you need hunting supplies, come to me. Not that there's anything else to go mine. Bye. Well, what do I need? Do I do I buy one? I'll buy one. Nice apples, right? <clears throat> Resistance ring. Three kinds of treasure chests can be found in various places in the world. Each contains different kinds of items. Copper chest is consumables. It wouldn't let me finish reading it. Okay, okay. I'm guessing those kind of chests are going to be... Um, yeah, stuff. How do I equip it? Items. Resistance ring. New. Uh... Can I have it? Ooh. 
Lock? Unlock? I don't understand. You get battle boobs? Resistance ring! Yes! Whoa! I have a blood blade. Ooh, my stats. Sweet. What's in my fashion? Hair, villager style. Oh, custom clothing. Okay, strategy. Target nearby enemies. Close combat. Be aggressive. Oh, I can change it. Huh. Okay. What's this? Save points. You can save your progress. This time, let me read it. Okay, it's the, it's the joystick. Additionally, while you are exploring a field, you can create a quick save by pressing that button. Save. Yes. Okay. Oh, I need to go that way. Okay. But there's another person to talk to over here. Hi, old the man. demon blight is a punishment Burr, sent bro. to us by the Imperians for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Imperians? The four Imperians created the world. The one Imperian shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! <laughs> All right, then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. <clears throat> I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. Oh, wow, old lady. Okay, which way am I going? Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Salika taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nice. nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Okay, I gotta go that way. <clears throat> I gotta go this way. Tranquil Woods. Autumn colored forest. I almost fell. Well, this is pretty. This area looks promising. Come free. Ooh. I got like mushrooms. There, prickle boar. Okay, how do I attack it? Oh, a <laughs> battle. Okay, combo attacks can be performed based on number of souls each character currently possesses. 
Use any combination of B, Y, A, and X to perform a three-hit combo. Oh, by stunning... Defeating or inflicting status ailments upon enemies, you can get souls, allowing for more combos. Okay. Interesting. I wanted to use my sword. <laughs> Details, huh? KO victory! Delicious and nutritious. Contacting with an enemy while on the field will initiate a battle. So just walk up to them, huh? Victory is achieved by attacking your opponent and reducing each of the he their HP to zero. If you feel you are in an unwinnable win 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 battle, you can run towards the line at the edge of the battlefield to cause the escape gouge, gouge? gauge oh, gauge. to rise. Once the gauge fills, you will flee encounter. However, you cannot flee from battlefields that have a red border. Yeah, that's how it's done. Oh. Okay. It looks like there's more this way. Use a soul gauge. When SG drops to zero, you can still attack, but you will be knocked back if you try to defend. I don't even know how to defend. LB to defend. Defending it decreases damage from enemies, but also greatly depletes SG. Where's this border they were talking about? Oh, that's the border. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to defend. Clear. Right, here goes. Arthur's second maxim. Know your foes and strike where they're weak. Fighting without looking at my fighting goals. That's what happens. Using artists when you have no SG comes with a number of detrimental effects. Combo speed is slower, and combos are more easily broken. Oh, cool. Apple 
Jojo. What's this way? The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Oinkle boars. <laughs> nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about piggle boar? Yeah, Pickle Boar. That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. It's too cute. this <gasps> copper coin <sighs> this place isn't safe that hole's gotten bigger I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence but they keep saying it's forbidden land even Celica used to scare me with it she was always this is a gateway to the underworld well I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna jump into it now. But I am curious. Underworld? He saw me. Hiya! Here goes. Is that all? This should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Bring them to the store. Shiny. Shiny! There's a coin under the tree. Ooh. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Hello, Ashwaggy. Nice kitty wings. Um... I don't think I need. Maybe I'll save again. I don't know what to expect. There's more pickle bar. This is a pickle bar. Pickle, pickle, pickle. What's this? Huh? Weird. I'm doing something right now. I'm on a mission. Wait, the boars I hunted. Are you there? Maxim three. Never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. What?
Oh, hidden art case? Art? A case? Focus on damage and attack range, but use more of your SG than mar martial arts? Oh! Okay, um, Artez. Uh, we be be be. It says Searing Edge. Battle menu and set Searing Edge to A. Oh, there it is. Okay. Do I have to do it again? Here we go. Oh, where it says you decide, you can select Searing Edge. An exorcist art! Pride and anxiety, pity for the enemy, thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Okay, yeah, Swaggy, I get it. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. Okie dokie. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! 
Hey, I can handle a bunch of... Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? <coughs> Why is it you think that birds fly? Because they can. Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Celica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. Wait, we were gonna make him some soup or something, right? So, I guess I can't access it right now. Oh, okay. Stage two, stage three. So, if I put it here. Ah, okay, I see. What's with the stages? Stage of fight? That makes sense. Oh, they're for the combos. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, and I can kind of just put whatever I want in these other A buttons for stages. Or maybe it'll guide me and tell me what to put where. But, sure. All right. Got it. I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Luffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that, and it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. All right. Don't worry about it too much. Who's over here? <laughs> There's like a blue mark there. I don't, I don't know. All right. Enough. Enough. Let's go this way. We gotta go back. We gotta take care of Butter. Butter. I know, right? The swag. I love the swag. Oh, she's not doing it right now. Oh, she's doing a little bit of swag. It's holding her collar. I wonder if I stand it like this. Yes, queen. <laughs> I love the swag stances. That's so cute. Okay, where do I go now? Ooh, shiny. Copper coin. I don't have to guess. It's just a cutscene. Here for groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Whoa. Oh, yeah? 
You want to do something about your style then? Why do I have to be a boy? Uh, yeah, I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but. Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Good oh, job. I was Velvet. gonna say no! I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But Man. we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Why do you have to say that in front of her? Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious. Please. This is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. Wow. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. Why do they have to be boys? Luffy must be starving by now. I'd better hurry home. Oh, there's some people to talk to? Oh. I don't want to talk to that shopkeeper. Oh, Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, the that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> they're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them. You know, they're just probably upset because of the demons and they don't know what to do. They probably feel helpless. Like, how are we going to protect our Nico? What do you want, Nico? Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Oh my yeah, god, the quiche. But mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. What the? Then it <laughs> might be worth a try. I do want to buy Luffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. <laughs> so darn good. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ash. I was like, I was, I was trying to listen to Nico, and then that weird message came up it's like what what are you selling me my car's extended warranty i don't know <laughs> but 
but I'm I'm good. I got everything set up. Let's save for now. I, I, I don't know. I've never played this game, so I don't know what's going to come up. So I'm just going to save whenever I can. More apple gel. This apple gel is pretty neat, though, right? I wonder if there's like a hot key bar for it. Like if I need to heal myself in battle or something. Okay, I got that chest. Where's home? This way, right? Home this way. This way? Yeah. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the cape tomorrow. Princessias. Were we supposed to pick a flower? Aww. This little life will spread its wings and soar through the skies. Aw, that's so sweet. That's so sad. Is there a chest around here? I don't I don't see one. Maybe back here? Nope. Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Oh, no. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, <laughs> we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level. So your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Poor kid. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. Aww. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Luffy said. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. <laughs> it won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? 
You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. He's the cutest. First, I need to light the stove. Do I get to cook? Oh my gosh, do I get to cook? Man, Compass is awesome. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Loffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. Oh, don't discourage him. Let him read a book. Oh, is this my room? Nice. Okay, kitchen. Kitchen, 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 kitchen. Kitchen. Nutmeg. Where do I cook? Is there something upstairs? Oh, the fireplace needs lighting. Okay. <laughs> it's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know. But, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Special curry spice. Ooh, what's this? More silver coins just keep spawning there, man. If you just wait right here for a very long time, you'll be rich. Curry spice. Curry spice. Spice, spice. Spice, spice, spice. Spice? There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah. We've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. <gasps> Jealous much? Luffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A uh, girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, Whoa. And she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Celica is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? <laughs> Oh my god, what a conversation. So I was up here going, Hey, Luffy! <laughs> if you meet a girl! Okay. Shouldn't I be cooking? Shouldn't I be cooking the poor, poor guy some... Oh, wrong room. Poor guy some dinner. Some din din din. Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> As long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. Thanks, Luffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. What? <sighs> what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. 
You'd kill every last pickle boar in the forest. That would just ruin the environment, lady. Where do I cook? There's a star right there. What do I do? What? How do I get to the star? Through here? No? Oh, do I gotta cook outside? Um, where do I cook? Cook here? Cook here. Cook. Ah, begin cooking. Okay. <laughs> Boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. He's so cute. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Scarlet Knight. Is that like in Legend of Zelda? Where they have the Blood Moon Knight. Where all the bad guys rise. Is that the morning alarm? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? <gasps> you little... Where have you gone? <gasps> no, Lavi. You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Well, let's check up here first. He might just be hiding. No. Lavi. Is he on the roof? No? The kids are crafty creatures. They, they know all the good hiding spots. In the leaves? Have been here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. You Lafayette. just said you haven't seen him. You really copy all that by hand? What the heck? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? <sighs> I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. What? You just said you haven't seen him. Liar. Velvet, I saw Lafayette walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? 
He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. I know. He might have gone to the cave to pick flowers. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques. And exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely. Yeah, I was just about to say, I think you're the one... Velvet, that can't handle it. Um... Who else to talk to? There's some somebody over here. Oh, no, wait. I went the wrong way. Over here. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. Oh, don't make them. Don't, don't make them. Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago, but what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Oh, he's got to be here somewhere. I hope we didn't go this way. Well, hold up. We try this way first. Crimson Sea of Trees, huh? Oh, we can't go this way. Okay. Can I run faster? There's a boy on the loose. There's a cow over there. Okay, he's not here. No, he's not here. We did go the other way. Coins everywhere. People dropping the money. Where would these flowers be? 
What's over here? Oh. Oh, I can't go up. Okay. I was thinking, like, well, the water current's not that strong. Fluffy! Velvet, can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... Hey, so it's we! You want to see the ocean, too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Remember how we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly you started climbing really. down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you, too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in. And it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure. And wishes for good health for many years to come. Wow. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Oh my gosh, if this cute little boy dies anytime soon, we'll lose it. Can I go up? No? <gasps> oh. Maybe we can go around? This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. <coughs> hey, Luffy. Do Bird you know coffee. why it is that birds fly? 
Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh... Demon! Whoa! Lobby set, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared, you can do it! You're going to be strong, like Arthur! No, you can't! Go! Why is a demon here? I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way! Or that thing will kill you too! But please! Go! This is power hit zero. It's... It's just like Arthur said. I have to do this! Oh no! Don't do that to the boy! Oh, he gonna be so mad. He told you to run. I know. <laughs> the stickers. <laughs> oh, it's on her chest. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Velvet! Fluffy, you're all right. Uh, sorry. It's all my fault. No. If you weren't there... There's no telling what might have happened to me. Oh my gosh, she's so so sweet. Broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. I thought we were going to lose him for a second. Then the game would be over. Be like, no, he's so cute. A Scarlet Knight? What's going on? Was that... Was it all a dream? No, no it wasn't. Okay, what to do now? What to do, what to do, what to do? Let's cook breakfast! No, okay. Where is Arthur? Are those Fluffy, villagers? Where are you? They're dressed like villagers. What on earth is going on? This is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. <gasps> oh my gosh. What in the world? No. The village. At least they're avoidable. Oh my gosh, they're all dead! What? No, she dropped her bread! No! 
so dead. Don't give up. Never give up. Oh, shoot, monkeys. Um. We're just gonna go this way. Right? Yeah. Don't be coming after me. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hey, that cross I know. How many times have we gone here already? Luffy! Arthur! Velvet! You... Oh, thank goodness! You kept Luffy safe, didn't you, Arthur? One more sentiment to cast off. Velvet! What? Run! Arthur! <laughs> Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, fear shall be born the power to save the world. With Lucas's life as a sacrifice. What? What? What are you saying? What the heck, man? Thought you were cool. Though he's a kid. Let him go. This is an offering to the world. Why would you? Nothing can save him now. change ever a slave to emotion <laughs> wow did he stab her Oh, that's trippy. Oh, it spit her out.
demon that feeds on demons. Arthur. Atherian. Atherian. Take a look around. Whoa. That's her friend. Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. It's my cult. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer. Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. Okay, are we dead now? I nope. will. I will make you pay. Well, hi, Angel Baby. My doggy's here to say hello. <laughs> Level up. Your brother's dead. Level up. On lower battle difficulties, enemy attacks less frequently and with less force, making them easier to defeat. But higher difficulties offer benefits such as improved item drops. Mm -hmm. So did my world come to an end. And for three long years... I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. Uh huh. What lies did Arthur put in that kid's head? I wonder. Or if they were even lies. Poor kid. Wait, we're down there? Ew. There's a ladder, like right there. It's been three years. You didn't even use that ladder. <laughs> Where is 
is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. What? Uh, why is swift movement? Okay, so... Nice. If you tilt while defending with LB, you perform a quick step. Here I come. If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. Oh, I did it wrong. Did I do it? Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. Please do. There are exorcists now throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people and a sword against demons. Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafiset. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. Deal. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. Shattered your yoke. We must hurry. My yoke? Oh, you mean like like I'm a, I'm an ox? Did you just call me an ox? Prodigies glissate. What do I have? <clears throat> what do you say I have? Oh, I can't open. I can't do anything. Okay. What's this? Can I? Can I save? I can't. I can't do anything. Okay. Now can I? No. Ah, oh, which way shall we go?
Anything interesting? More silver. Wait, I'm still carrying the silver coins from three years ago. Like, they didn't even bother emptying my pockets. They're like, here, that's all you get for company. It's your silver coins. Okay. You will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. Okay. Up here? Or was there a room in there? What? What's that? Oh, it's a banner. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, yeah, it looked like a window. Like, I'll just escape through the window. No. You're very vague about a head. You're extremely vague about a head. In the room ahead. Whoa. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. It looks like they kept prisoners effects in here. Nice. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl. What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. <clears throat> You're not taking it? It's a celebrated <laughs> masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. That is not how you're dressing All for right. battle. Are you ready then? No, I'm not here? ready. We need some clothes on. Be careful. He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. Burning wing! <laughs> Okay. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. What do you do to you? Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. Excuse me. Okay, first off. First off. That silver chain down there along your legs. How are you gonna move? How are you gonna do high kicks with that? Wait, what is the purpose? I mean, it looks great. You look fantastic. But what the freak? <laughs> How is this fighting where? <laughs> oh, you're so constricted. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, enough of that. Enough of that. I I need, um... Ooh, a hat? What? A hat style? Consumables. I guess I should, right? 
my blood blade. Sturdy belt. Battle garment. Whatever. What is this? <laughs> oh, I guess I should go here for fashion, right? Ooh. No, that's pretty good. The regular outfit. <laughs> Okay. Fine. It looks good. Well, do we have anything new? Slicing foot. Oh, I see the stats down there. Demi human. Ooh. I don't know what these do. Let's just experiment. Figure it out on the way. Yeah, that hair looks cooler. Nope. Yes. What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malakim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that that much. That's okay. So I can't go this way. It won't open. much silver nice guards coming two of them this way did you hear the path around the island is off limits now they say the ground's weak and could collapse the path that goes under the watchtower that's all right nobody uses it anyway Oh, but it was a nice shortcut to the We docks. know where to go now. A shortcut to the docks under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Holy yes, my sir. gosh. It could be serious. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Okay. We came from that way. Okay, um, this way?
There's so much silver. Who in the blazes are you? Uh, RB lets you see information on the current target. You can switch targets by holding the button down and tilting. Ah, okay. Level five. To pause the battle and see information on the current target while holding the tilt, switch to the target. Book information. Cool. What the hell? You serious? Split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? <laughs> that, that one guy. He's <laughs> the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? And Melchior. I won't force you! You wanna rot in here? Then rot! I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too! Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl! Like us are Seems like they're all game. The slop they feed us. Ceres. attention of the guards in the meantime we'll search for that watchtower from there we can follow the outer path down to the docks so you're leaving them all to their fates i told you we'll use any tool i need wow we don't care girl in the meantime i'm gonna get some goodies Gonna raid their cells. What are they, what are they leaving here? Oh, hey you. You're not going to escape. Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the abbey joined forces with the kingdom of Midgan. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure. Until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Molochim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die as long as I take Artorius with me. Huh. Okay. 
he, he, he's gonna stay there. We can't make him. don't feel like fighting either. They're just glad to be out. Whoa! Who? Who had a chest in their cell? My dude! Battle boots! What are these? What are these battle boots? Are they the same? Oh, one of them has a random skill. Sure. Uh, did I? I checked that one already. No, wait, wait, it's this one. up for it. He's like, whatever. Ooh. Wait, that guy's cool looking. Whoa. Did all these places have those by the pillars? No. Okay. Dear me, not a word of apology? Who's that? <gasps> Grimy prison cell. <laughs> you see why I'm not feeling well. Ew. And you are? Hooray! You asked. I'm thrilled to introduce to you the wise sorceress who travels the eleven seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons. None other than the acclaimed, the illustrious Magilu Magilu for short. Magilu. No, Ma, like Soggy Shoe or Doggy Doo, or call me any of those things and I'll turn you into a froggy stew. Gross. <sighs> I suppose you'll never understand. <laughs> People can be so tragically unlearned. What? But hey, like I care. <laughs> I'll just walk away. No. <laughs> <laughs> we were just in here. Okay. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. Okay, I want to look for more orbs and more chests. Ah! Life bottle. Hey, my dude. Oh, 
Look at this. Look at this. Just demons and humans just hanging out. I mean, it means it's possible, right? Oh no, wait. You're, you're not exactly. You. Look at the way he's standing. <laughs> Nothing in here. Did I go through this one already? Nope. Ooh, sage. Herbs that can increase character parameters grow in various places around the world. Oh. They will grow back in time. That's pretty nifty. So, but why was that locked? What's one of the ones that were locked? Huh. Um, watchtower? Maybe? Or was this my cell? Oh, yeah, right. This was where I was. Okay. Back up we go! A void ring? What's a void ring? Ooh, art attack plus five. Non-elemental damage reduced by four percent. I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, wait. What's that magic hat? So we want our, we want more defense or we want more offense. I'll keep it the way it is for now. We'll see. <gasps> when there's a save, there's a worry. Save. Whoa. <laughs> More? This one. He's a demon. Get ready. You're not human. You need to have you. <laughs> True enough. Oh, I forgot to do my thing. and the blades already. Huh. Brittle, these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Stormhowl. Stormhowl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. <laughs> it's in the storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. 
What the heck? He changed real He's quick. No demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry. Sharpshooters been tight, been tight, been tighting. Enable snipe charge in battle after guarding for a set amount of time. Oh, charge abilities. Um, do I like? Is that there or what? What? Where is it? Huh. <laughs> I was looking at everything. Wow. Neato. Close combat, engage at range. Balance. Sure. Stormhell. Could that demon be? What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't yeah. think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. <sighs> oh, except for you. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. Ooh, there's a hammer boy. The gate to the docks locked down. We can't break through. You can't walk over those bodies. The tower should be just ahead. Oh hi, puppy. Okay. We've just about quelled this riot. You won't be getting away. <gasps> but what if I am? Prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. The prisoners are doomed. Me too. I don't have some healing going on. What's this? This one has a random skill. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I 
can't equip it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to go here. Right? Smashing Dame, Incapacitator. <gasps> what? That scared me at first. Are these locked? Oh, they're locked. Okay, so all I got is that one right now. I'm trying to get out of this prison. See all that gold I got? 320. You racking your brain on some planning? Yeah. Is there a boss fight? <laughs> oh, that's hot coffee. How do I get down? The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. do that to termination plus 100 I see you are truly committed to this <laughs> oh you could just transport okay sure you're strong I would almost think you made an oath it's a ritual that grants special power if the Oath Taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an Oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware that <laughs> <is> <laughs> why <laughs> I chose you. I'm mad. I'm mad. Killed my little brother. I'm, I'm going to kick some booty butt. And I'm getting rich. Ooh, shiny. What? Can I save first? One use? Neato. Should I save it? Did I, what would have been best to save before or after? Honestly. On honestly. I'll just overwrite this one. Nope, no, I already did it. Thank you. Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear. Not the front. Well, 
you, you kind of... Uh, man, she angry. She angry times a thousand. She's like, I don't care. <gasps> oh, I never noticed that before. Look! Color change. Nice. I was just grabbing them. Woo. I was watching the mini map as I walk. We're almost there. That's enough. Who are you? Oscar. I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No, I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? <laughs> Yet, Better believe it. I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is then. Oh, that sounds pretty cool though. Lord Arturius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? Change these? Mm. Sexy foot. What else do I have? Semi auto. Apple gel. Did I win? Did I lose? You're skilled. I will have to expend a Moloch or two for this.
more of your vaunted reason. Wounds are fatal. Please consume me. Ew. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velva. Huh? This was Loppy's. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. Hurry, before my life fades. Do it now. You. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. Are one and the same. I treasured those days. I got cream <laughs> craisins. When you and I <laughs> and Arthur were <laughs> together. Oh. so sad <sighs> don't pretend like it was hard for you to do oh my gosh Tutorial. Okay. The sorcerer's ring obtained some devouring series. Oh, from devouring series enabled now to break a soul. Press R2 to turn more oh so we gotta have the okay we gotta have three or more blue diamond thingies such power comes to the cost the character loses one soul and their target gains one soul what 
They ignore combat limits. Okay. She absorbed that Moloch's power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon. Oh, I need I need um I need stuff. Yes. <laughs> I just stood there and took it. <laughs> um, did I even equip it? Hold on. Well, there's that ring. That's cool. Ooh, wait. So can I have... No? Oh, we're good now. Retry. Okay. Here I come. She absorbed that Moloch's power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon. Okay. We try. Oh, is it gonna give me the tutorial every single time? Come on. Here I come. She absorbed that Moloch's power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon. This time, yeah. oh, I can't use another one. Why? Uh. <laughs> oh, now I can. Okay. I'm gonna I know I'm running around like crazy. Yes. But I want I want to heal. Yes. 
I want you to keep doing those flamey moves. But I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Nasty? <sighs> Velvet! That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon. Moloch. And exorcists alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! Wow, he burned him up. risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Stormhowl is back in my care. Where were you guys? Gokurodan gets it. At your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt. One I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. Cool. The dragon was crummy as I am. Careful. Sea's looking mighty choppy. I know, right? Sailor? No. But I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. Which la lady I'll just makes me I go, ew. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No. We won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell or rot in a fish tummy? Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! Ew. I'm coming for you, Pretorius. And just like pirates, we stole the ship. I heard an achievement noise. I don't know what it is, though. It's not telling me.
Fluffy said. On Moloch. Ah! Stay back. Pixel has been My watching word. me shell and eat peanuts. You really are a box of horrors, <laughs> aren't you? Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry, long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave yourself. What is up with the sword? I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something worth breaking out of prison for. <gasps> Jeff! Oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tail to warm the heart? There's a city called Helavis nearby. I can't promise they're much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. He knows a lot about this area. You can earn XP and gold. World map. Nice. Ship in a fix. Whoa! Ooh, can I... F I can fast travel? Neato. Land of Dancing White. Nice! Wait, I can open this one. Velvet, you know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, don't be noisy. He was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Uh, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You 